Aya. I'm Aya, guys. So for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Aya and I'm a bento mom. I make fun and creative lunch boxes from my daughter, Zion. I'm also into gardening and homemaking and I also love food, travel, and shopping. So if these are the things that interest you, please keep on watching. So it's another Monday, guys. It's the start of the week again. And we are so excited to do another bento creation. So it's gonna be an easy one again for today. So let's check out kung sinong gagawin natin. Alright, so for today, we're gonna be doing one of Zion's favorite cartoon character. And this is an anime character. And that is Totoro. There. So for the Totoro Bento character, what we need is uh, gray colored rice. So this is kind of speckled. So what I used here is this black sesame powder. I just sprinkled it over the rice and then I mixed it. So this one I got online. I got this one from Shopee. There. And then we also need uh, plain rice, the white one. And then for the eyes of Totoro, I'm gonna be using this candy eyes there. So this one, you can also get this one from online. So this one I got from Shopee as well. Just type candy eyes. And this is a very quick addition to your bento character. If you don't want to cut nori, this can be easily put sa food items nyo. And then, for the other details, of course, we're gonna be using nori. There. So, I'm gonna show you how to do it, but I'm gonna also gonna give you an option on what else to use if you don't have the candy eyes, alright? And then, for our side dishes, we have a hot dog sauteed, and then this is with ketchup. So once in a while, she eats hot dog, and then buttered veggies. So medyo na brown yung butter, but this is buttered veggies. And then for her um, dessert, we have gummy bears. So we don't have fruits today, because we haven't gone to the grocery store yet, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> And then, I'm gonna be using this wax paper as base later, right? And of course, we have our bento picks as well here. And we'll also be using our nori puncher. Okay? So, we'll start by molding the rice. Okay, so we'll cut a portion of the cling wrap. And then, we'll just get about two tablespoons of this gray speckled rice. So maybe about three. Let's do three. There. So we're just gonna create like a pear shape for Totoro. Like this. So like an egg. So for the ears, I cut two little portions of our cling wrap and then we'll just get very small amount of rice. So we'll just create a triangle shape for the ears, okay? There, like a pointed triangle. Then we'll do the same for the other one. So there. So we have two triangle shapes for the ears. And then the next thing that we need to mold is this white rice or the plain rice. So we'll just get this one. So this is about go to one tablespoon. So this is for the tummy of Totoro. So what we want to create is just a small circle shape. So small circle shape like this and we'll put it on top of the pear shape that we created earlier. So pear, egg, oblong, oval, puede. <laughs> and then We'll just put it here on top. Okay, and then what you want to do is close the cling wrap again and then slowly press it so that it will flatten. So after you're done with this, we'll just now get our nori. Yeah, so we'll just get a small portion of our nori. And then we'll get our scissors. 
so that we can cut the nose ni Totoro. The nose is just like a very small triangle shape. Here, you can do half circle, you can do triangle, you can also do circle, basta para sa nose. Okay, and then we'll put it here. And then the next thing that we need are small na letter V's for here, sa tummy ni uh, Totoro. So we're gonna be using this nori puncher. So this is seven na uh, V shapes. Yeah. But if you don't have this nori puncher, this I also got from online, so from Shopee. If you don't have this, you can use uh, scissors to cut small letter V's out of the nori, okay? So we'll just open this, then we'll put it sa kanyang tummy. So you put it like an inverted na letter V. You put three on top and then four sa ilalim. So, kung mahirapan naman kayo mag-cut ng letter V, you can do small uh, triangles. It's actually up to you to do your own version of Totoro. So, this is what you need to do. And then, we just need to put his nose here. And then, we'll use our candy eyes. So, I'm gonna be using the small the candy eyes because we have big and small so ito yung small the candy eyes and then these are the big versions again uh this is one good buy for your bento stuff because if you're in a hurry then you can just use this candy eyes to design your creations so we're just gonna put it here sa eyes but again, if you don't have the candy eyes, you can use the white of the rice and mold it into a round shape and then cut a circle shape and then put it doon sa top ng minold nyo na circle or round shape to create this set of eyes. Ayan. So, we'll just wrap it again while we prepare our bento box. And then we'll be using this yum box, panino. So this is from Bright Brands PH there. And what we're gonna do is just put the base here. So what you just need to do is get the toothpick or uncooked spaghetti and then put it here. There. And then just stick it sa sides for the ears, okay? then just do the same for the other ear. If you use a toothpick, make sure to remind them that there's a toothpick that you put here sa ears. Just for them to be aware that you used a toothpick. But if you use uncooked spaghetti, it's okay kasi lalambot naman yun. Then we'll put the side dishes here. So for this one, you can put it plain like that or you can use silicone cups. In my case, I'm gonna be using silicone cups because it's easier to clean when they're silicone cups. <laughs> okay, so we'll put the hot dogs. And then here, yung ate buttered veggies, okay? So make sure guys that when you are preparing food for your kids, make sure that your hands are clean, okay? And that your workstation or a work area has been sanitized. So I'm just choosing the corn part. So I'm using my hands. These are clean. Like I always remind you, the butter that I used, uh, medyo naiwan ko siya, kaya nag-brown siya. And naging ganyan. <laughs> Pag sa umaga, guys, or mga mommies, yan, medyo aligaga tayo. So, we forget things. Yan. So, 
I'll just put some green keys. Yeah. And then here, yung gummy bears. There. Okay. And then we'll put bento picks. So for the hot dogs, I'm deciding to put uh, candy eyes. Just for design. And then here, bento picks. And then here as well sa gummy bears. So this is our finished product. Ta -da! By the way, guys, um, I also want to flex again this kneading board. Tingnan nyo siya. So big up to here. Ayan. So I'll move this. Ayan. Lahat ng aking needs for food preparation, they can all fit here. Ah! Ayan sa screen yung size ng kneading board. And it's customized as you can see here. Ah! There. So again, this is from Luid Local. Ayan, there. Sa screen. Here, here, here. Ayan. So if you want to get one for yourself, you can use it for baking, for kneading. For food preparations, for serving, it's multi-purpose. You can contact them on Instagram. They also have a website and a Shopee account. Alright? Thank you, Luid Local. And thank you, Bright Brands PH, for my unbox. So that's it, guys, for today. I hope you enjoyed what we did. If you enjoyed, please like and share this video. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell para palagi kayong updated if I have a new video upload. Thank you for watching guys. See you in my next vlog. Bye!